evening. Thank you for joining us. Now, when you drive to the bank, you would never think that people are trying to steal your personal information right from the ATM. But that's what these two guys did. 24-year-old Michael Silva and 22-year-old Jose Caro were arrested Friday for using a device called a skimmer and doing so at three central Iowa banks. KCCI's Kim St. Ange live with how it works and what you can do to protect yourself. Police say these small devices called skimmers have actually been around for quite some time and they're used across the country at hundreds of grocery stores, gas stations, and also banks, just like the one right behind me here, Great Western Bank off of Euclid and East 14th. This one was hit just last week. Still wrapped in an evidence bag, this plastic device is what two men recently used to try and steal people's bank account information at three central Iowa banks. It would be attached somehow to the ATM where the card, where you slide your bank card in. The device, called a skimmer, has a small electronic chip on the back that allows you to withdraw money, all while capturing your bank account information as you slide your card into the ATM. There's the electronics. On the back of it. Skimmers also come in different colors, like this green one, or in a grayish color that would look similar to an ATM, making it hard to tell it's fake. You'd think you'd be able to see that thing in the ATM when you put your card in, but if you can't, then, you know, makes you kind of think twice about using your ATM cards. Aaron Perez was stunned to learn that Michael Silva and Jose Cara were able to pull it off. That's kind of scary, though, that someone can get you just like that. Luckily, the thieves were caught before anyone's information was stolen. Yeah, that's quite disturbing. It, it makes me very wary of wanting to, you know, put more money into the bank because, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be protected against something like that. But just be aware of your surroundings and just look, look for anything that looks out of the ordinary. Police say there's no surefire way to protect yourself, except just keeping an eye out for anything that looks out of the ordinary and reporting it immediately. And Caro and Silva are charged with illegal use of a scanning device as well as conspiracy to commit a felony. Both are being held right now at the Polk County Jail on a $30,000 bond. Live in Des Moines, Kim St. KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.